Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I just real quick just wanted to pop in and show you guys I got this print. <laughs> and this is a size one. They were out of the size twos. I am so into diapers. <laughs> it's so weird. I haven't collected them in a long time. But I just had to pop on and show you guys that. And for those that may not know who this baby is, this is my Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. Painted by me. He is Vegas. Um, I haven't decided. And that's another thing I wanted to ask you guys really quick. Like, how do you guys think I should do his hair? Like, what color? Should I do it dark, curly, straight, wavy? A lighter color I don't know what to do with his hair that's why I've never even put edges on him like because I can't decide um, excuse my voice I am hoarse and um, I do not have COVID I've taken COVID tests <laughs> um, but I do not have COVID I just I guess I just have a regular cold or something and my voice was just leaving but this is my favorite, favorite clear telescope next to Kent. Um, out of all the all of the, the sculpts I've seen of hers, collected of hers, the Willow is absolutely my favorite. I don't mean for that to be anyone else's favorite. It's just my favorite. And um, I mean, clear teller sculpting is just amazing. Um, you just, you can't go wrong with her sculpting um, for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some of her sculpts I do not like. Hence why I do not have them in my collection or have not tried to paint them. Um, but there are, overall, I think she does like the best body styles to my liking. And I think she does... Um, really realistic sculpts and her silicone is amazing. It feels amazing. So I will forever admire her sculpting and her talent because she's definitely a natural. I think for me, she's like an example of what you call a master artist. Like everything she does is like innovative. It's unique like all her dolls do not look alike they don't look just alike like you can always tell one of her babies but it's not like you just like oh that one looked just like this one this one looked just like this. every time she gives you something new it's something fresh and I love that I love that about her sculpting um she has seemed to be getting away a little bit from the limited editions as much and I get it because it's just, we're just in a time right now with everybody copying people work and a lot of people like copy her body, the Willow body styles and stuff like that. I mean, they don't come out just the same because, you know, nothing is going to be as good as the original. But I can understand people like having that approach like, oh, let me just keep it open so people don't feel like they, oh, I missed out. So let me go get a bootleg. So I get that mentality. However... You know, as a collector, I kind of wish we could just still have limited edition kits. Um, but then, you know, you feel like that until you miss out on one. <laughs> and then you're like all bummed out, right? So, um, you know, there's that. Um, I like, you know, what Cassie Brace is doing with her vinyl. is She's doing small editions and making it very unique to her. You know the stuff that comes with it and stuff you know even though she never does a black prototype pretty much i mean she's done a maybe a few you know way back or whatever but i think it's been maybe a couple four or five editions she's not done that one black prototype but hey i just paint my own black dolls like at this point it's like beating a dead horse nobody sees the importance of it um, so, um, moving along, I do like, you know, the limited edition. So, you know, as a painter, we just have to go with the flow. And, you know, these sculptors are trying to make a living just like the painters. And we just have to make it fit in 
you know, with, you know, what we're trying to do. So, yeah. But anyway, this is the, this is a size one. I normally put him on a newborn size diaper. I know a lot of people think that the willow is like gigantic. Um, he can fit some zero to three, but he's more long than anything. He does have some weight to him. He's just like the perfect size. So he's a sold out edition. Um, and I have the awake, which is also a sold out edition. And they are my forever babies. I will not let these babies go unless it's like something like extremely emergency with my family and they would be the last to go. Like I would have to sell every doll up in here before I would go to those measures. And with Phoebe, I just, I just would have to get on the corner cause I, I let her go. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, guys, I got to get back going. Um, I got a lot going on here and, uh, but just stay tuned. Be patient with me. This year is going to be a great year. I can tell it. I can feel it. Um, I'm running a little bit behind, but I'm doing my best um, to get on track. And so I can be ready, 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 ready for baby season. If you don't know baby season, everybody leap year begins in March. I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I don't really know. I'm just making this up, but, <laughs> but <laughs> that's the time when you guys will be wanting a baby. I just know it. I feel it in my gut. <laughs> okay. Anyway, guys, that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Lots of babies coming. It's different sculptors. I'm so excited. Oh, oh, oh. Lots of new different things. I am not sticking to one thing this year. I am going outside of my comfort zone. I am doing what I want to do. I'm going to be free. I'm going to love it. Um, no customs this year. No private orders this year. I've, I have like two. After I wrote this, I have two babies to finish up. That's lingering from last year. And that's it. I am not doing for friends, family, nobody. This year, no. I am strictly going to do what I want to do. Vinyl is going to be very few and far between. I am actually going to, as soon as I finish the giveaway baby, uh, the vinyl giveaway baby, I am going to pack up my table. Yes. Um, I'm going to pause it completely. In fact, I'm tempted to pack it up now, but I'm like, okay, let me just wait. But yeah. So anyway, that is it. Um, Vegas, just FYI, Vegas does have drinking wet. He does have elbow armatures and absolutely love it. That's another thing. Her armatures is so soft and so flexible. I just love it. Her drinking wet is seamless. You, you don't see anything in his mouth. You don't see anything in his little diaper area. When he pee, it just looks like a little baby boy peeing. It is, her work is just, it's worth the money. Even though her kits are very expensive, like a blank kit like him would cost you about $3,000. Just the blank, not getting it painted, anything, just blank. So even though the quality of the sculpting, the quality of the pour, the quality of the armatures, the quality of the drinking wet. It is definitely worth it. Now, I like to fluctuate. Some babies I spend top dollar on the kits. Some babies I don't. You know, um, but I, I love, I love, 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 you know, Claire Teller sculpting. It's just unmatched. Um, I love... A lot of other people sculpting. I feel I like a lot of sculptors are actually improving. The work is starting to look really good. And it's it's exciting because we're getting to see. And I like to see artists and sculptors grow and be a part of that growth. Like, oh, when I got this baby. And then you start to see the improvement in every kit that you get. Um, same with painting. We start out here and we end up in a whole nother level. It's, it's, it's beautiful. 
Um, so anyway, keep cheering on your favorite artists, your favorite sculptors. You know, be patient, give people grace. You know, everybody out here is trying to make it for their families. And, you know, we're never going to have a perfect sculpt. We're never going to have a perfectly painted baby, perfectly rooted. Nothing is going to be perfect because it's we're just not perfect. We're humans and we're flawed. Okay. All right, guys, be great.